Well, holy shit. That was a turn of events. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. All right, let's go talk to him now. We'll see. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! Oh. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. You're on thin ice, Toad. Don't test me. No need to get all worked up. It ain't a big deal. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> It's okay, son. Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Were those the same words they used, stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They said, stop laughing at me. <laughs> Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> Do you know whose voice it was? No. Bigby, he's frightened. Did you hear anyone laughing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home, that's all. I promise! I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then.
That went about as well as I expected. <clears throat> you want to go look at the body now? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. Come on. Wow. Oh the my goodness. I almost forgot. Thickens. Oh. Shoot. I have some money. Look at this. Look at there. Witching well. Whole lot of nothing. There's nothing, nothing, nothing anywhere. Witching well. Over here, nothing. All right, I guess we go look at the Z body. Uh, gruesome. Well, it does look like her a lot. Wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. Are you going to be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. No shit. Well, all right. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Okay. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Rafkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Huh. Well, let's look at the last part. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. Oh, there's more bruising. All kinds of weirdness. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. 
There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Oh, shit. Are you still okay? I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Alrighty. Oh, what is that? Wow. She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions? Looks like it. It even has an instruction right on it. Let's see if there's anything else. Is that money? I've what seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. Oh. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You worry too much, Crane. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh. Oh. There we go. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Oh, shit. Is that... Yep. It's your hair. In the picture? Oh, holy moly. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Oh, is that her? Who did this, Bigby? <laughs> She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Well, holy shit. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. He seems shifty. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. That's but right. We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. 
I'll have Snow come with me. I better protect her.